Mary, Seed of Wisdom, pray for us. Hello YouTube, this video is going to be about the word spirituality uh, and other words like that. In fact, you know, even phrases and whole ideas that are similar. And what I mean by that is the word spirituality is something that's uh, rather new at least in the common understanding. Maybe a long time ago it had a different understanding, but now people use the word spirituality really as kind of a substitute for the word religion. And what this video is going to be about is why that is wrong. In fact, it's very evil. <clears throat> I believe the word spirituality is like a, um, a, a verbal virus um, or an, uh, an emulsifier. Um, an emulsifier is, is a chemical that goes into water that helps it mix with oil. Naturally, oil and water don't mix. Uh, but an emulsifier is a chemical that goes in and, and creates a, an emulsion where the oil and the water do s uh, mix. Now, if you looked at it under a microscope, they really haven't mixed um, totally. You would see little globules of oil and little globules of water. But they're kind of close together in this emulsion, and it looks kind of like a milky you know, emulsion. Um, it's not the same as like when you mix water with wine. You know, if you put a few drops of water in a, in a glass of wine, um, that's a, that that kind of mixture is inseparable. You know, the water becomes the wine. Um, whereas an emulsifier just kind of creates the the semblance of of a unity or a mixture, and but it doesn't really last. I mean, if you let an emulsion sit long enough, the water and the and the oil will begin to separate. Uh, so spirituality, the word spirituality is like that. Um, it, uh, it tries to take the place of the proper word, which is religion. Now, the best definition of religion, which uh, St. Thomas Aquinas offers, is religion is a virtue. Um, and it's that virtue by which man gives to God what is his due. In other words, worship, praise, those kinds of things. Um, it is kind of a subset of the virtue of justice. Um, it's not a, a theological virtue, but it is, uh, you know, a very high virtue. Um, opposed to the virtue of religion is the vice of irreligion. Irreligion is um, a vice that is uh, contrary to religion by way of defect. Okay, so it's, in a sense, defective religion. Although the best way of formulating that is to say it's, it's a vice that's contrary to religion by way of defect. Um, <clears throat> spirituality, though, what is it? You know, it kind of defies definition. Um, it, it, it's kind of a vulgar or common word that uh, hasn't uh, been used by the church in a very specific, uh, useful, holy, pure way. Um, it, it, it's an emulsifier. You know, spirituality Def, def, you know, describes many different things, and it does it in a very vague way, so it kind of tries to mix them all together. It kind of says that everything's kind of the same, you know, spirituality. You know, here's a few examples we can look at, um, you know, here's a Buddhist spirituality. You know, here's a demon here, where the Buddhists worship demons. Um, here is um, uh, Kabbalah. Um, goddess spirituality. Okay, this obviously is the worship of demons. Here is um, um, a Jewish yoga spirituality, whatever that is. Uh, Gesher yoga. <laughs> um, and here we have um, Hindu spirituality. Here's another demon. Uh, the Hindus worship demons. And uh, you know, you, you can see the, the theme here. Um, there's a few more. Um, here's Wiccan spirituality. Obviously, Wiccanism is nothing but devil worship. Uh, a magical attitude for the 21st century. And of course, you're the, you know, the pentagram is the sign of the devil. So Wiccan spirituality. And then, sadly, we have... Christian spirituality. Okay, and this is an example of how the word spirituality serves as an emulsifier, and it takes Christianity, which is, you know, a religion, a virtue, and it mixes it with Wiccanism and Hinduism and Buddhism and Confucianism and 
you know, all these um, these uh, diabolical um, irreligions, because that's what they are. They're not religions. And there's no such thing as different religions. There's only one religion, because religion is a virtue. It is the virtue by which we give worship to God. Well, there's only one God, and there's only one worship of God. Therefore, there's only one religion, and that's the Catholic Christian religion that was handed down to us by the apostles, uh, which they received it from Jesus Christ, so it has a divine origin. Um, all these others are irreligion. Um, but spirituality, though, is used interchangeably. You know, it, Christian spirituality and Wiccan spirituality. So you can see how it's trying to make this unholy mixture, this unholy emulsion. And it's, you know, it's straight from hell. I mean, that, it's got the devil's fingerprints all over it. Why, you know, why would we want to mix irreligion with religion? Well, because it creates confusion and division. You know, if, if a, a true Christian comes along and says, no, there is only one religion, spirituality says, no, there's many spiritualities, you know, and they're all about the same, you know. It, it doesn't really matter what spirituality you practice. Um, so it tends to, to deaden the senses. Um, it, it kills off uh, zeal for God and for his holy word and for uh, the, the true worship of God. Uh, it's vague, so it, you know, the devil loves to, to uh, dance in the details of vagueness, if you want to say it that way. Um, it's very subtle, you know. Um, it's a bait and switch. I mean, all of these things have the devil's fingerprints all over it. So all I'm suggesting is that and, and I know a lot of Christians and, and even a lot of Catholics especially use the word spirituality, but it's getting more and more common. And so this video is just saying, hey, let's stop and let's think about that. Do we really want to use that word? Um, you know, do we really want to be associated with the Wiccans? You know, they have spirituality. Okay. Can you make that word useful? No. I mean, religion is a useful word because it's very clearly defined. And there's an, there's an opposite of it. It's called irreligion. But, but what is the opposite of spirituality? I mean, is there such a word as ear spirituality or in spirituality or unspirituality? No. There is no opposite of it, you know. Spirituality, is it a virtue? Well, I don't think so. I mean, Wiccan spirituality is certainly not a virtue. Um, so it's a very, it's a very um, useless word. It's a very imprecise word. Uh, I believe it's an unholy word as a result of that. Uh, it brings in confusion and um, this unholy mixture. Uh, it's part of the greater plan of the devil to uh, introduce these uh, verbal viruses which uh, mimic life. You know, they come in into the actual living organism, which, which is the church, and, uh, you know, kind of uh, hijack the reproductive uh, faculties of the living organism in order to reproduce itself. Uh, we have to have an immune system against that. You know, we have to reject these novelties uh, because all they are is just lies straight from hell. Uh, Christopher, Christopher Ferreira in his, uh, in his book, uh, The Great Facade, goes into more detail about that, this, uh, this issue, but I just wanted to, to use the word spirituality as an example of it. Um, that's why we have to be anchored you know, to the to the real religion, we have to be in the the, the bark of Peter, uh, safe and sound behind the walls of the New Jerusalem. You know, the Bible says that the walls of this New Jerusalem uh, are in an embrace of salvation, and and so we must be inside the walls. We have, we have to be inside the church, and be safe and sound. Uh, you know, with the the traditions of the church and the magisterium of the church. There are many spirits in the world. Um, but there's only one God, the Holy Spirit. How do we tell the difference? Well, you know, the Bible says that uh, the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, that, well, the spirit of error does not listen to the apostles and their successors. Uh, the spirit of truth does. And so, you know, we have to always be faithful to the apostles and their successors, uh, which is the Catholic Church, the magisterium of the Catholic Church. And be filled with the spirit that comes along with the true religion and reject these false notions of spirituality. Um, anyway, I hope, uh, hope that helps, and until the next time, may God bless us all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.